director or the NSA or any other agencies involved to come here to the White House and brief him on this new information, or is it just the Intel chair? And if so, why not? Well, Jeff, it just happened. So uh, it's a silly question to ask me, literally as I'm walking out here, when the chairman was wrapping up an event saying that he is announcing that he's coming down here, it's not like we pick up the phone and then call everyone else. The first step is to actually hear what he has to say and to find out who else he's briefed, where he's got that information from, and then we'll, we'll take the next steps going forward. Is this the first of several meetings that you I, I don't know. It's literally, record, right? it literally just happened as I was walking out here. So to suggest that other steps have have occurred until that briefing occurs, I, we'll, we'll see what this leads to. I don't know. Cecilia. Uh, what's the state of his credibility tonight? The Wall Street Journal, which has been very supportive of his candidacy and agenda, um, simply raised the question that he is not um, you know, doing very well, and they said he could be on the verge of being a fake president. What do you believe the state of his credibility is as we sit here today in week nine? I think the, the president has made several promises to the American people. And he's kept them. He appointed Neil Gorsuch as a judge, which was one of 20 people on a list. He withdrew from the Trans-Pacific Partnership. He established a five-year lobbying ban and a foreign ban on Lifetime, which is all what he said he was going to do. He said he was going to cut regulations, and he did that. He said he was going to start to bring back jobs. He did that. He said that he was going to start to pay real attention and respect taxpayers, bringing down costs. He's already done that. He's backed a plan to repeal and replace Obamacare. We've talked about it at nauseum. He's talked about putting forth a budget that puts defense first. He did that. He took action on Dakota and Keystone Pipeline. He did that. I think when it comes to the president making promises to the American people and keeping them, he's got a pretty high record of doing it. Sean,